Hello everybody. Did you know if you like a fruit tree, you can cut a stick, like right here, remove the leaves, and graft it onto a seedling or rootstock? Well, that's what we've done over here. This is a seed. And I put the seeds in the barrel and grow new trees from them. This here has been wrapped in parafilm and buddy tape and it is growing a new tree. This is the Helen, and here's the original tree or rootstock. I'm gonna break these off so the energy goes into the, the graft, the Helen. And that's what these other seedlings are for as well. I'm gonna cut them and graft on some new varieties. Over here, in this one, I even plant mango seeds, the manila mangoes, and that's what we have here, which I almost uh, completely forgot about. These, this is a manila mango right here, and they're also growing in these containers. And over here I have more seeds, because here I have something very special. Here are the seeds. I put them in the ground, and when they start to grow shoots. Then I could put them in a pot and um, basically start a whole new tree. But I wanted to show you the special thing is this right here. Look at that tag. Look at that tree. There's the seed that a fellow avocado enthusiast and friend grew and then he grafted the Jan Boys budwood on here. And why, what's so special about this? What's special is I've been looking for this tree for 10 years. Now more than 10 years. Over 10 years ago, I got into avocado growing. When I tried some avocados in Napa that I've never had before. And I realized that there were all kinds of different varieties and flavors. The one in Napa, I believe, is a Puebla. And it's, it had an amazing flavor, very buttery, very nice, and very different from the Hass varieties, which are also excellent. But just like you like different mandarins, different cherries, different oranges, it's nice to have different avocados, but it's almost impossible to find unless you live in avocado country. Look at that. It's this uh, a tree that someone was able to graft and someone was able to sell or give away. So just think, you could graft your own avocado trees. And just like that lamb back there, you can have, create 10 lamb avocado trees, either as an orchard <laughs> to give away or to sell, whatever you like. But just think, you can, grow seeds and you could have 10 trees from one and that's uh, what we're doing up here in Northern California I'm very happy to say that we had our first NorCal backyard avocado growers sign exchange and I want to give credit to my friend AJ AJ, the graph man, came from Southern California about a year ago in 2023, and he brought bags and bags of budwood with him. And he basically passed them out. And I thought, how strange is it that somebody is coming all the way from the LA area, from 350 to 400 miles away, to pass out budwood, just to give out budwood. He had bags and bags of it. And I, I met him so I could give him one of our budwoods. And that one's right over here. And look at that. I'm showing this so you can see that once it's wrapped, the tree does the work. Look at that. You can see that it is busting through. It's hard to get this the shot on this one. There we go. But it is breaking through itself. And... It is gonna be a new tree. This is a local variety. I nicknamed it Little Fuerte 
but I name it after where it's from. It is from La Marinda. And here I have my NorCal collection, as I like to call it. This is a bacon tree. Bacons are very common in Northern California because for decades, this was really one of the few reliable and heavy producing avocados you can grow or you could grow. And, um, but now it is changing. Decades ago, it was harder to grow the Guatemalan types. This is a Mexicola. These are believed to be the original avocados. You can eat the skin. They ripen all at once. They don't really hang well, but I love these avocados. I'm growing this one for flavor. And they make the best guacamole. I knew a winemaker from Guatemala when I worked up in Napa, and he said these are the best avocados in the world. And some people, they swear by it. If you have one, they are, they are really good. Um, and this one, of course, which I talked about, is my, my little fuerte. And uh, what I want to say is we had La Marinda. We had Budwood from all over and people from all over. Too many to name, really. I mean, I have to thank those people that were distributing the Budwood. A lot of people distributing from their house. A lot of people meeting other people or driving to them. I had my friends, they were helping me collect the budwood from the budwood from local native trees. By local and native, what I mean is these varieties do not exist outside the Bay Area. Now, how does this tie into grafting? What I'm saying is whether it's uh, peaches or cherries, you can basically, if you have a, a neighbor with a wonderful peach tree, same thing, you cut the stick grow a peach seed and graft onto it. So it is an amazing skill. They are growing avocados in London, in England. And what does that tell me? That tells me that if you live over there or you move over there or you move somewhere else and you have this grafting skill with you, you could take it with you to England, get budwood from that avocado tree in London that few people know about but uh, fruit lovers do. It's like a, it has a cult following. You could take budwood from that tree. You could grow some seeds and you can graft those trees. Or you could even take seeds, put them in the ground, and create your own new variety, which is what has happened here in Northern California decades ago. Some people either took a seed or maybe they got it. Um, when all those varieties came up from Guatemala and Mexico over 100 years ago, 1915, I believe, and they had connections or they were garden enthusiasts and they brought some of those trees here. And we believe that we might have some of those trees still alive that survived the great freeze because of the water in the bay, kept the temperatures nice. And um, so again, I wanna thank, this video is to thank and encourage you to graph, but most of all, I also want to, I want to thank those, the Northern California backyard avocado growers for helping me get the uh, sign exchange going on. Um, again, the idea came from AJ, the graph man, and I realized, why don't we do it ourselves? And we did. So we had our first exchange and uh, we had plenty of budwood. In fact, I got a list of some of the varieties we had. If you're curious, in hopes that you would join us in uh, contributing budwood, sharing budwood, showing people how to graft, or do whatever you can. We had, um, as I remember, we had a Jan Boyce, Martin, De Arturo, a Joe's Black Duke. We had Alameda, or Alameda County, Oaklando, Reed, a Black Reed, and a Bay Giant, also a Hayward Giant. These are some of the local varieties. Annoyed, it doesn't have a name yet. Um, Carmen, Lamb, Pinkerton, you name it. We had some excellent varieties. And I want to thank everybody who contributed and helped. And I got a surprise for you. I have here one of those local varieties, which I am going to taste for the first time. And that is this one right over here. Look at this guy. I want to have one of these varieties here in the rain with you while well, you stay nice and dry and I do the work. We got here 
one of our locals, which I'm gonna open and I'm gonna try it for the first time. Here we go. Seems soft, hard, nice hard shell. I'm getting some thunder. Oh, look at that. Cut very easy. Very easily. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Now, that is an amazing looking avocado. We prop it up for the camera. We could just admire it together. Look at that. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. Now, is that a beautiful avocado? I don't think it gets any better than that. So let me taste it for you now. Look at that, nice and firm texture, no strings. In fact, let me take a look at it, try to bend it a little. Yeah, very firm. Let me try that again. Very firm. Look at that. Oh, I'm getting something stuck in my hand. There we go. That is a very nice avocado. Very Guatemalan tasting. I'm not sure how to describe it. We got rained out there. Uh, this is a nice creamy local variety, which I don't believe has a name for it. But it's interesting to see all these different types of um, avocados you can grow. And that's the thing about grafting. When you graft, you can decide what you want to grow. If you live in England, for example, there's an avocado tree in London and you could graft that avocado tree with permission, of course and grow your own varieties. And you could share with other people. And then maybe some other people will take seeds from that tree or other trees, and they will grow avocados. And if they have success, they can graft those trees. So when you know how to graft, you can essentially be the one or be the people who decide what avocados are available to other gardeners. So we'll definitely go out, learn how to graft, and wherever you are, learn, um, try to get a sign exchange together and share with the other gardeners. Trust me, it's, it's much better and much nicer than having to, um, to buy trees when the selection is limited. Here in Northern California, right now, there are about four avocado trees you see in all the big box stores. But there are, there are tons of different varieties of avocados out there. So why limit yourself? My channel is all about growing your own avocados, and that's that's all I really care about. So go out, grow your own avocados, and um, learn to graft so other people can also grow their own avocados or fruit, whatever it is. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.